Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X-2. Alright, before we jump back into the Via Infinito, I did change a few things with my setup here. First off, let's touch on the items since we're here. I reorganized my items to look like this. Got the Lunar Curtains and Star Curtains at the top there. Those will come in handy once we reach uh, floor 40, so heads up there. Everything else just pretty much just got moved down though, so yeah. Uh, for setups, I don't think I changed that. However, I did change one of the garment grids. The tempered will. So, yeah, I've got the thief and uh, mascot on either side of the double HP gate there. So, yeah. Alrighty, and accessories, finally. Reorganized them to look like this. So, yeah. The stuff where we got equipped, and then we got the shining bracer crystal bangles there, obviously, for the uh, elder drakes. And then got the Oath Veils and a Speed Brazer here, just in case uh, you happens to learn uh, uh, Ribbon, which I doubt it, but you never know. Got it there just in case. So, yeah. All right, let's go. And we're starting with the Elder Drake. All right. Shining Racer and Crystal Bangles equipped. Let's do this. Quartet knife and attack. And obviously, Riku and Pain are. Ow! Stop that. Are on the uh, Tetra Master Garment Grid again. AP egg and safety bits equipped again, and obviously Rico and Pain back on Hyrule Wings. And no, your ears are not deceiving you, nor is the shaking of the screen deceiving you. There is indeed another Elder Drake on this floor, so yeah. Getting into the point where this floor is now going to start containing two of them. So yeah. And maybe we're wondering, well, why don't you just keep the uh, Tetra Master set up on uh, at all times? Well, we still need to worry about uh, death strike attacks. So yeah, so I'm gonna have to uh, swap over again once we once we reach it. And in case you happen to be wondering, I'm actually using Payne's MP pool to uh, heal us up. I normally uh, put on the uh, crystal bangles. So, yeah. Alright. Uh, oh, nope, nope, that doesn't work. Oh, well. Here's another new enemy, the Tentacles. We could have run into this in a few areas already, but since, well, we think this is the first time we've seen it, so I might as well go into the details. Tentacles has 2,530 HP with 64 MP, can steal a Phoenix Down or Blue Ring from it. It absorbs water and gravity. It is immune to petrification, sleep, curse, stop, and percentage based damage. And it can inflict darkness and slow in its regular form. Oversold, you have to kill eight of the eight uh, cephalopods. Those are, that's that type of, this type of uh, fiend. Uh, kill eight of them and you can get 
Oh, sorry. Kill eight of them, and the Oversoul is 10,000 HP with about 10,120 HP. Sorry, with 64 MP, you can steal two to three Mega Phoenixes from it. Uh, same elemental affinities. It gains the ability, the immunity to Confuse and Berserk, and yeah, it's got a, a buffed physical attack, and it can still inflict darkness and slow. So yeah, All right, so let's do this. Should still be susceptible to reject though. <laughs> And all four breaks, but again, I think we established that the quartet knife is still worth it to use just because still get credit for the AP, uh, even if it's immune to all four the if it's immune to all four breaks. So yeah, which I'm attributing to the fact that it does damage. Humbaba, aren't you? Yeah. Well, believe it or not, <laughs> rinse and repeat. <laughs> yeah, just in case it doesn't work. It should, though. Seven. All right. Two more, and I need to make another save file. to fry.
strong. Sign and seal. Thirty-eight. And the Eldrake again. Ow. It would be great if this thing would stop critting so much. It would be fantastic. The crits combi the number of crits he's getting combined with his attack speed. And cause serious problems for me! Attacks the same person twice. <laughs> if you're getting worn out by having to swap your equipment around that often, like whenever you get the Elder Drake. You can probably leave Riku and Pain on the Tetra Master. Uh, just the only reason I've got Riku and Pain on the Hyrule Winds while they're doing this is because of I'm using Pew, the Pew Pew Platter. So yeah, and just being able to attack first thing in the battle. Help speed things up a bit. That way, you just have to worry about the uh, accessories whenever you're facing the Elder Drake. Thirty-nine. All right, let's get a uh, save file out. <clears throat> Pardon me. Oop. Split up and we'll be we'll be best buds <laughs> for a time. <laughs> Until we unceremoniously uh destroy you. Split up, but at least, uh, I was gonna say at least that wasn't a crit, but no, I'm fairly certain it was. She's just got the auto protect up, that's all. But it has not escaped my notice that there has been a uh, other noticeable lack of elementals on our trip down. Which from preparations for this episode, 
means there's some good news and some bad news. I guess the bad news is half bad news, half good news. The bad news slash good news is that I am going to have to fight that unsent up there oversold the good news is i have a plan let's go save it all right so for my setup this is what we're rolling with get tempered will with the thief oath veil and shaboo the shielding if you recall got the thief on the either side of the gate for the mascot so yeah we're gonna be going straight into mascot as soon as we get started Tempered Will for Riku, Thief, Oath, Veil, and Ribbon, and the same thing for Pain. Obviously, I'm going to be sending all three of them through that gate. And the Oath Veils will help boost our magic defense high enough, where if we can get certain items off, i.e. the Lunar Curtains and the Star Curtains, let's put it this way. Whatever happens, we do not want this thing's first attack to be Ultima. <laughs> <laughs> do uh, a bit of a spoiler in there of what, what what's coming up so yeah all right let's do this is that maester jiskel didn't Orin say he was sent but something kept him here uh, all right, so there's the over. So let's get Riku and Payne over to Mascot and start throwing up those Lunar Curtains and Star Curtains. Yeah, this is, I guess, the first time we've seen Payne transform into her... Mascot dress here. So there we go. <laughs> and there. Awesome. It was not Ultima, so we might actually have a chance. So this is the Black Elemental. In its regular form, it's only got 9,999 HP with 2,380 MP. You can steal a, an Ether or two Rune Bracers from it. It is immune to gravity and it has auto reflect on it so heads up there uh it says it's susceptible to eject but again because it's a boss don't count on it hitting um and it is still susceptible to all four breaks so having pain with the uh, quartet knife uh when it's not oversold is a go-to is a must because it well it's susceptible to all four of them and yeah you can basically drop its uh damage from ultima down to be trivial so yeah uh, and so, yeah, when it's regular form, it can do, obviously, it's got non-elemental magic. It can also cast Flare as well, so that's what the Star Curtains are for. And, uh, yeah, it can, uh, inflict, ber cast Berserk as well, so that's why we've still got the, the ribbons on kind of thing. Oversold! You need to kill 16 elementals to be able to get an Oversold, and I guess that's where we're sitting. So, Oversold, this thing has 10,998 HP, so just, uh, 999 more than its regular form. Same MP, so 2,380 MP. Steal a, an Ether or two Rune Bracers from it. Uh, still immune to gravity and got Auto Reflect. Um, actually, no, actually, I think it loses Auto Reflect. Correct me if I'm wrong, but yeah. Um, unfortunately, Oversold, it gains the immunity to Magic Break. So, I'm still going to be using Quartet Knife, just simply because of the AP, really, and it'll help us, I guess. It's got a really high physical defense, so we won't be able to do much damage, but the Star Curtains should basically allow it to kill itself. So, <laughs> yeah, and, uh, yeah, so it, does, it loses the ability to cast Berserk on you, though, so. All right, let's do this. Uh, yeah, just attack. Yeah. 
So yeah, if you happen to have learned Ribbon with Yuna, I would probably suggest a Speed Bracer in place of the, sm the Smooth Shelling. Just to help her uh, get caught up again once this thing does cast Ultima. If it does, but yeah. Go into the battle expecting to see it. Actually, you know what? Let's throw a star curtain on it. Just in case. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> it can use full cure. Fortunately, it's only the quad nine, so yeah. It doesn't heal it to maximum, just pretty close to it. Oop, did I just throw another circuit up? Well, we know where to get more if we need them. <laughs> Wait, no, that's light curtains and lunar curtains. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, the reason why. I don't know. I was to say, the reason why the star curtain works on it, or reflect in general would work on it, is because I believe it's because it's an AoE spell spell, so, yeah. Is it not going to cast Ultima? I may want to consider holding off. You may not even see Ultima. But yeah, uh, Ultima from this thing's no joke. As long as you, uh, until you've had a chance to actually reduce its defense. Or, Reduce the amount of damage you take from it, anyway. Needless to say, getting its own spells reflected onto it three times in a row is definitely going to be the quickest way to take this thing out. Alright, we didn't even see Ultima. <laughs> But, yeah. Hopefully it doesn't spam it. Um, one Ultima and then getting enough time for Unity to get caught back up with the healing is okay. But, uh, yeah. So, for defeating the Black Elemental, we got a Moon Bracer, another Shining Bracer, another Speed Bracer, Recovery Bracer, and a Catnip. So yeah, I believe the catnip, I don't know if I mentioned it before, the catnip accessory, I believe when your HP gets down to critical, I think it boosts your damage output to quad nines, I think. Maybe wrong, I don't think I've, can't remember if I've ever actually tried it or not, but I think that might be the case. So having that equipped combined with maybe like the gunner's trigger happy, could be useful. Just a little risky to get, because they gotta be uh, low HP, but anyways, we're done. For now, anyway. Because. Alright. Last episode, there was a commenter saying that you couldn't leave this place and come back. Maybe that's the case. Maybe that's something they added to the HD remaster. But in this game, it does save your progress. So we can actually leave this. Um, I would consider removing the uh, compatible with the HD remaster thing from the playlist. But considering what we're going to be looking like once we come back here i don't think those 40 floors are going to be much pose much of a problem for you so well in any case you know the setups i was using going through there so yeah potentially just use the same ones maybe just without the, ri the ribbon but anyways let's get on the airship all right uh, yeah. Let's, uh, let's take a look here. Okay. How do I not proceed? Alright, so, a little bit of a, uh, crossroads here because that took longer than I was expecting. 
But we do indeed have all 10 of the uh, Crimson Spheres. Which means, if you recall, the Den of Woe, I believe it was called, required 10 spheres to open. So I figured next time we'll watch all 10 of them in sequence just to get full context of what's been going on there. And then I get, think we'll head on down there and take it in for uh, in person. So yeah, with that next episode, the whole Den of Woe sequence could potentially be a two-parter, so heads up there. Uh, but uh, yeah, I was kind of hoping I'd be able to get through that those uh, last five floors. Uh, the number of Elder Drakes wasn't helping, that's for sure. Um, but yeah, I was hoping to be able to get through those last few floors, get rid of the the Black Elemental in a timely manner, and then be able to still watch all ten of them now. But yeah, time's running short here, so I think I'll just take care of that next time. And if I need to, I'll uh, split the next episode into two parts. So yeah. All right, so next time we'll uh, take a look at those Crimson Spheres, and uh, I guess we'll head on down to the Den of Woe and uh, see what that place has, is, was. See what it's all about. And hopefully we don't regret it. This is Intrepid83 signing off. Formerly known as Syrup1983, if you've enjoyed the video, as you please consider hitting the like button on your way out. Also, if you haven't subscribed over there yet, why not head on over to my other channel, Intrepid83, to see if there's anything there that could potentially earn your subscription over there. Uh, just simply the re reason why I'm directing you over there is because, well, you won't be getting much in terms of uh, uploads from this channel once this series and a couple other projects uh, go up on this channel. Uh, after those these projects are done, yeah, um, Intrepid83 is going to be where to be in order to get... Uh, uh, a steady flow of content so yeah it's the only reason why I'm directing you over there but and yeah there's still stuff over there that uh, is much more recent than this and anything on this channel so yeah if, you if anything over there piques your fancy and you decide to subscribe well I'll see you over there and uh, yeah until next time thank you for spending some of your time here take care be blessed and have a good one